This is my kind of wonky recipe to make homemade mayonnaise because I don't like standing here and dribbling the olive oil by myself, so I let my um, Ziploc bag do it for me. And I have two egg yolks. I have half a teaspoon of salt, pepper, onion granules, and garlic granules. I have apple cider vinegar. And I have two cups of olive oil in a Ziploc bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the egg yolks and we're going to beat them a little bit. I use it on almost high. I set my KitchenAid on 9 for this. And that was just a dash of a swig of um, organic apple cider vinegar. Maybe a tablespoon. Now I'm going to take my Ziploc bag and I'm actually going to duct tape it to the top of my KitchenAid, just like that. Let me see if I can get you a clearer view. There you go. See it's duct taped on top. And we're going to start it again and I'm going, actually, I need to move it up a little bit. So we're going to start the KitchenAid and then I'm going to take just a little sharp pointy thing and poke a hole in the bag. Okay, and now you can see that the egg and oil and vinegar are starting to come together. So I'm going to make the hole in the bag a little bit bigger to let a bigger stream go into the mayonnaise and we'll be back. Okay, we're just finishing up. We've just finished up and as you can see I have mayonnaise and I have an empty bag of oil. So what I'm going to do, I apologize for the shakiness, and I used a whisk attachment. I'll go in the dishwasher and let me take the bag off. And as you can see we have mayonnaise. Now this is not a recipe, this is just me sharing what I do because I like walking off when things are doing their thing. And the Ziploc bag and duct tape method helps me do that. I had some seasoning stuck to the side here. But that's it, and I'm gonna go have some tuna salad. Hope you have a wonderful day, bye.